Oh shit, I need to get a haircut as fast as possible. I'll do it for New Year's probably. There are three uniquely distinctive types of men. I have to give a disclaimer here. Your feelings are going to be hurt in this video. If you're the type of guy who gets offended by constructive criticism, then this video isn't for you. You can click off Snowflake. If you want to hear about self-improvement and if you actually like being criticized because that is how you grow, you can stay. Today we're talking about the three tiers of men. These three tiers are distinctive groups and I know through holistic self-improvement, you can go from tier one to tier three. And today we're talking about those tiers. In order not to waste our time, let's get right in. The first tier, which is rapidly growing by the way, is what I call the simp tier. Chances are, if you're watching this video and you haven't been on self-improvement, you're here. You're the type of guy who texts an entire paragraph to girls and they give you a one word answer and you're like, oh, she responded. And even worse than that, there's guys who write out their message and then write Oh, are you ignoring me? You're an idiot. I'm calling you an idiot because I used to do this. <laughs> to be honest, I don't actually remember when I said, are you ignoring me? But that's what I thought because I didn't have anything else to do. And the thing is, most sims nowadays are living life in reverse. I'd actually say over 30% of men are in this category. We're seeing the men in the Western world, specifically young men. But what do I mean when I say you're living life in reverse? Well, let me teach about masculine and feminine energy. Masculine energy is defined by work. It is constantly thinking about work and goals and generally just stoic ideas. If you want to become a rich person, for example, you need high amounts of masculine energy. Because if you have low amounts of masculine energy, you become a simp. You become obsessed with this one girl and you probably have oneitis as well but you're just focused on the flow of love and you want to message her and you want to spend all of your time with her that is feminine energy a feminine man constantly thinks about his girl and spends time with this girl and i know i'm going to get castrated for this but it is a fact that if you are a masculine man you will spend most of your time on your work, on your purpose. If you don't even have a purpose, which I talked about in my previous video, but if you don't even have a purpose, that means that you probably lack masculine energy. And unless you're actually aware of this masculine feminine energy dynamic, your feminine energy levels are probably higher than your masculine levels, which is, I don't wanna say it's reversed, but it is. And the thing is, if men have high amounts of feminine energy, then logically women will have higher amounts of masculine energy. That's why you've probably seen, or maybe you've experienced this yourself, I have, guy constantly texting his crush because he's obsessed with her. Meanwhile, the girl is focused on something else. She's studying for that exam and that is totally reversed. I seriously mean that. Wow, we got sidetracked so quickly, holy sh Your dad didn't come up to you and say to you, okay, so here's how you text girls. Loud as bag, bro. I mean, unless your father is dialed in with game and social skills and all that stuff, he probably didn't teach you all this. And two major characteristics of this group is they are extremely needy and they try to keep the conversation going. I used to be that guy. I used to be that guy who would try to revive this dead conversation. I mean, when I read those messages now, you can clearly see the girl is bored. But to be honest, the guys that actually need to hear this message, they've already clicked away. And by the way, I changed my mind. 40% of men are sims, no way. Let us move on to the second tier. The second tier is good men category. Now, this one is probably your father, actually. Unless you've got some up family relations this one is your father and many other men around the world even though we're living in 2022 and everything is basically f i believe that the good man category compasses around 50 percent of the entire pie chart you are still a bit simpy but you're a good man you don't do anything wrong you go out every week every two weeks you're at a nine to five job and that's it you're average you're mediocre but the problem with these guys is they're not really doing anything productive. Yes, they have their 9 to 5 job, but when was the last time they actually exercised? When was the last time they meditated? Most of the guys in this category, they're not really doing anything. They don't go to the gym, they go to the pub. You know what? They're satisfied with their life. They don't need much else. But here's the thing, out of these 50% of men, 10% are on self-improvement. And these are the guys that are going to go into the third category. And do you know who's at the bottom 10% of good men? Nice guys. Unless you are from a foreign country, you don't really know what I mean by nice guy. Nice guys are just the guys who are kind of simpy. For example, they buy a rose for a girl. Okay, that's fair. But they expect to get sex out of that. And that is just wrong on so many moral and ethical levels. If you're actually a nice guy, you give 
a rose to a girl, right? But you don't expect anything in return, you just do it because you're a morally good person. It's weird how I actually have to explain that to some people. Some guys are just lost in this world. <laughs> Me personally, I don't really like this category because you're just so damn close if you are on self-improvement. You're just so damn close to reaching that top 10%. But what is that top 10%? Tier 3, the alpha male. Now, I know I'm going to get some cringy comments that say, Oh, but uh, alpha males don't exist. They do exist. Just because you think that they don't exist, that does not make it a reality. There's a lot of facts in this world that you have to face. And one of them is that alpha males do really exist. I remember watching an interview where this guy said that alpha males don't exist because in wolves, uh, there is just a pack. There's no alpha male. Do we look like wolves to you? Look at chimpanzees. In the monkey tribe, is there an alpha male? Yes. These guys who are in the top 10% of men, they get all of the rewards in the dating market and you'll immediately know if you're a part of this category, just like the Sims. You'll know because you get tons of female attention. Unless you're gifted with some god tier genetics and your parents told you everything about self-improvement already, you need to be on holistic self-improvement, which basically means that you have to improve every single part of yourself. Your mental health, your physical health, your spirituality, your emotions, everything you can think of and these guys in the top 10% they are not playing video games for one hour a day they are ruthless and they're constantly working on themselves on their business on their mental health Mengachi, first man hamza all of these men they're in the top 10% i don't care whatever you say they are i'll actually argue that they're in the top 1% of men if you watch this far the top 1% is the lifestyle that you want to live. If you want to start working on yourself to reach at least the top 20% of men, you can click and watch this video and subscribe to their channel. See you tomorrow, bro. <sighs> to be honest, bro, I'm happy with my size right now. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the winter because it's bulking season, but oh well.